Well, there's the problem, and there's its answer. Notice that k is equal to 3.8, and it's equal to the stuff on the right over the stuff on the left. The stuff on the right is my ammonia, which I know at equilibrium is 0.1 minus 2x squared. And the stuff on the left is my hydrogen, which is 3x cubed, and my nitrogen, which is just x. That right there is a nice little algebraic expression with only one unknown, and I'm going to be able to solve it. Now, as you look at a problem like that, mathematically, a couple things should occur to you. One is that it's solvable. Why do we know it's solvable? It's solvable because I have one equation and I have only one unknown, x. But something else occurs to me. It may be solvable, but it looks like a pain. Why does it look like a pain? Because in that denominator is x cubed times x. In other words, I have a polynomial expression which is a fourth order. It's a quartic. It's x to the fourth. How do you solve x to the fourth problems? Well, when you were learning to solve x squared problems, you used the quadratic equation. And you got all excited about how to use that nice, simple expression at one point in middle school. Then they showed you the cubic equation. It was about this long, and you really didn't feel like using it because somebody had invented calculators. And then they showed you this quartic, and you said, enough of that. I'm not going to solve this particular problem. But do understand here that regardless of whether mathematically I can solve this problem easily or not, it is solvable because I have taken this problem, which started out at the very beginning with the following very practical idea that I had known amounts of starting material and an equilibrium constant and something I didn't know, and I have transformed it into a simple little one equation, one known problem that I need to work.